One in 500 children are affected by autism, which is a neurological disorder that limits social interaction and communication. Children are diagnosed on average at the age of six, but research shows that intervention at an earlier stage could improve development. Current methods for diagnosing autism rely on reported behaviour and clinical assessment. This restricts the age at which the child can be diagnosed because of the communication barriers. There is a need for a reliable clinical tool for the early diagnosis of autism in children. Hi, my name is Michael Cross. I'm a PhD researcher at the Centre for Bioengineering in Trinity College Dublin. My research is looking at how an EEG-based technique can be used to identify how well our brains integrate information from the different sensory systems. An EEG measures the electric tensions elicited by groups of neurons at the surface of the brain. During speech, our brains integrate auditory and visual information so we can better comprehend the speaker. However, people with autism integrate multisensory information less effectively and may therefore possess an EEG detectable feature or biomarker specific to this disease. My aim is to develop an efficient method which can identify this biomarker. Much of the previous research into multisensory integration has relied on the neuroimaging technique of fMRI. While fMRI has revealed interesting insights into the areas in the brain involved in multisensory processing, it is costly and too slow to capture certain events occurring in the brain. Alternative EEG-based methods do not experience these problems. However, most EEG research has been constrained by the need to present synthetic stimuli which do not fully reflect our natural environment. My research looks to overcome these limitations by using an innovative type of EEG analysis known as the ESPA. This technique has been developed by our research group over the last few years. So the methods that we've been working on over the last few years are methods engineering approaches to extracting useful responses from the brain when people are looking at more natural or listening to more natural stimuli such as speech. This has the added bonus that it actually can be useful for targeting more specific populations of neurons in the brain than typical methods using simple flashes and beeps and so on. Because the cost of EEG is relatively low and it's non-invasive, this technique will be suitable for both the academic and clinical environment. In summary, the advantages to our approach are it's low cost, it's a non-invasive procedure, its ability to function in both the academic and clinical environment, our use of naturalistic stimuli, and the accuracy with which we can activate certain areas of the brain.